Welcome back to the Billiards Corner. In this week's episode, I'm going to show you guys Corey Duell's symmetrical 10 ball break. Most of you guys probably already know about Corey Duell's infamous 9 ball soft break. But did you know he actually developed a soft break for 10 ball? Let me go ahead and roll some clips of Corey Duell's soft breaking in 10 ball. Corey's, I would say, a more high profile player than Ernesto would be. Would wow, look at that soft that? break. And he also is the master of the soft break. This is how easy it is to use the Fargo rate page. Okay. John Mora. Man. George, you see how soft he hit those balls? Yeah, it looks like he hits them right and in the center. And where he's breaking from. Watch this. Watch this. Puts his hand Dead on the center. rail. A lot of players mm -hmm. put their hand on the rail when they break on the, on the side of the table. table. Yeah. Watch this. Oh, he hit it harder. Yep. And, and that was a the, soft break. Yeah, the two but balls. But he did hit it harder. The two balls behind the one just came straight up to the side pockets, both of them. Look at that six ball. A little short, but the Ooh. seven ball went. Yeah. And, and shoot the one around it. Shoot the one on the side. He's got a little window between the three and the five. I mean, it... I guess there is no rule in here about you've got to drive two balls past the three balls past the side pocket or anything like that. That was probably the softest break shot I've seen in a game of nine ball or ten ball. Especially on a ever, seven foot table. Ever. Ever. As you guys saw, Corey Duell's soft break and tempo is super symmetrical and he was actually able to get consistent results with his break. You can see that he's consistently trying to pocket two balls in the side pocket and he was able to control the cue ball and the one ball at the same time. There's actually a very distinct pattern that this soft break follows. This soft break relies on three key principles. A consistent rack, controlling the cue ball, and also making the two target balls on the side pocket. The first key principle is a consistent rack. Ideally, you want to use a magic rack because it's going to give you a very tight rack every single time. Now, if you're racking with a triangle, it's going to be a little bit more difficult because you might have a little bit variation or gaps in a rack. Me personally, I think this is a very important key principle because if you're racking differently every single time, you can't expect to have consistent results. Consistency is the reason why this soft break is so deadly. The second key principle is controlling the cue ball. So to start off, you actually want to place the cue ball right around the center, or you can place it back here and break off the rail just like Corey Duell. When I first started trying to replicate Corey Duell's 10 ball soft break, I actually thought that he was placing slight draw in order to squat the cue ball right around the center of the table. Kind of like his nine ball soft break. After experimenting with various power and spin, I actually found out that you actually have to place half a tip of top spin in order to squat the cue ball right around here. So what's actually happening when you're trying to hit this one ball as square as possible, the cue ball actually jumps back a little bit and then the top spin brings it back forward to right around the center of the table. The center of the table is the ideal spot to try to have a shot at the one ball. The third key principle is pocketing the target balls. The two target balls are always going to be behind the one ball. So in this case, this could be the eight and nine ball. So once you hit the uh, one ball as square as possible, the impact is going to cause this cue ball to jump backwards a little bit. However, the slight top spin will cause the cue ball to squat right around the center of the table. This is the most ideal situation. Once the impact occurs, the one ball is going to have a tendency to go forward and ideally go past the cue ball and head towards the end rail just like that. Now the two target balls are going to start heading towards the side pocket and usually at least one if not two will go into the side pocket. Now the two and three is going to hit three rails, one, two, and form a perfect X pattern to hit that third rail back there. These two side balls is going to go sideways right here and then the four and seven in the back is going to hit this end rail and actually roll forward all the way back up. And as you can see, this could be a very deadly break because usually at least one of the target balls goes in the side pocket. The cue ball is right in the middle and in perfect position for the one ball. And you can basically do an easy run out from here. Now I'm going to try to demonstrate exactly what I'm talking about. You'll see that it follows this very distinct X pattern. Alright, that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This video is actually pretty fun for me to make just because I'm always interested in what Corey Duel comes up with. With that said, thank you so much for watching. If you guys want to see more pool related content in the future, make sure to subscribe to my channel. See you guys next time.